Okay, this next question, this is something that you'll get a lot, okay, and it involves a stoichiometry involving um, volume. And the key thing here is, if you're looking at stoichiometry involving volume, we're always going to give you this. The gases are measured at the same temperature and pressure. Okay, now, <coughs> seeing that they're measured at the same temperature and pressure, we have, using Avogadro's law, volume is proportional to number of mole. So instead of having volume, we can just use volume as number of mole, saying it's about the same. So, let's have a look at this anyway. The contact process for the synthesis of sulfuric acids involves several stages, stuff you don't really need to know. A key reaction is a conversion of sulphur dioxide to sulphur trioxide, according to this equation. Now, this is a thing that you actually care about. Okay? The maximum, I should say, the maximum volume of sulphur trioxide in litres that can be prepared from 50 litres of sulphur dioxide and 50 litres of oxygen is... Which one of these is it? Now, because we're measured at the same temperature and pressure, what we can say is instead of using volume, we can call this about number of moles. So instead of saying volume, we can use that as number of moles because it's proportional using Avogadro's law. So we're going to say... Um, use stoichiometry basically to work it out. So you have number of mole of SO2 equals 50, because we're just saying volume is about number of moles. We can just use it like this. And number of moles of oxygen equals 50 as well. What we need to work out is how much of this is going to be produced. We have two reactants. So that means if we're given the number of moles of two reactants, we need to work out which one's going to run out first. So we do a limiting reagent for that. We do number of mole of SO2 over 2, because that's the coefficient here, equals number of mole of O2 over 1. So therefore, number of mole is 50 over 2 equals 50 over 1, which equals 25 equals 50, which is this is our limiting reagent. So depending on how much sulfur dioxide is used, we can work out how much of this is going to be produced. So what we're going to do is we're going to do now a ratio of number of moles of sulphur dioxide over 2 equals the number of moles of sulphur trioxide over 2. Okay. Based on the fact okay, that um, this is our limiting reagent. Because this is our limiting reagent, we use this to work out how much of this will be produced, just like in your stoichiometry. So therefore, 2 times number of moles of SO2 over 2 equals number of moles of SO3. So that means 2 times, I can't see that, 2 times 50 over 2 equals number of moles of SO3, which means 50 equals number of moles of SO3. So this is just using, first of all, volume is the same as number of moles. Okay. Therefore, the number of moles is 50 and number of moles of 50. Because we have two reactants, we have this and this, what we need to do is do a limiting reagent to work out which one's going to run out first. Once we have our limiting reagent, we can then put that into our ratio to find out the number of moles of our product that we're going to get. So therefore our number of moles of product is 50 and because n is the same as v, we say our number of moles that we, our volume that we're going to get is going to be 50 litres, which is going to be v. So <coughs> this looks very complicated, however what I want you to do is just Strip it back to the bare essentials. All I'm telling you to do is instead of saying volume, use volume as number of moles. And that's due to Avogadro's law. So when you get a question that involves stoichiometry and volume, 
use volume as number of moles and you should be on the right track. All right, pause this one.